Hey there, it's Mitzi. Welcome to my channel. So today I wanted to give an update on my Victober. Now I've been reading other things, but mostly Victorian literature this month. So I thought I would kind of tell you how things are going with my TBR because I have tweaked a few things. Um, I have shiny object syndrome where when I see someone post something on Instagram or on their Victober videos, I start thinking, Oh, I should have read that, and that's what's happened to me. Now, I'm still reading the ones that I had on my list because I already had them on my shelf, so I needed to read those. And I read The Moonstone for the Sensation novel, which I've already posted. I'll try to remember to leave a link to that. But then I read this. This was funny. This was for the city challenge, the country or the city, and <laughs> it's called The Diary of a Nobody. This is so funny. It's it's very short. It did not take me, I mean, long at all to read it. And it has cute little illustrations in it as well. Some funny little illustrations. Uh, but it's just his everyday life. A diary of his everyday life. And bless his heart. <laughs> it's funny. So I enjoyed this because I don't read a lot of funny stories. So this was a great one, and a lot of people have recommended this, so thank you, because it added some variety to my Victober, so I like that. I also enjoyed Elizabeth Gaskell's Gothic Tales. These were great, but I will say, the first story in here, Disappearances, is weird. <laughs> I didn't understand that story. To me, it was just... Um, police reportings maybe i don't know maybe it's over my head if if i miss something leave a comment and explain it to me because i didn't get it but the rest of the stories i enjoyed uh the what was it called the old nurse's story really loved that lois the witch which i had already read before so that was a great one to revisit and what was that other one the last one was so good the Grey Woman. Really love The Grey Woman. I think that might be my favorite in here. So this was a great one to read, especially this time of year, because I love gothic fiction anyway. And I love short stories, so I, I'm glad to have this one because I can just pick this up and reread some of these stories later. So I enjoyed that. Um, and then I picked up Ruth by Elizabeth Gaskell. Now, I was really enjoying this, and I was right into it, reading along fine, and then... I picked up something else <laughs> and I just stopped but I was having a, a great time reading it so last night I picked it back up and I couldn't put it down this is so good I should have already finished it I know but I started reading something else but this is so good and I've only read North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell and I'm wondering if this is going to be better I'm really loving this book but I'm not finished with this one Okay, so this is what I wanted to tell you. So I started reading this book by Ray Bradbury called The October Country. It is a collection of short stories. This is not Victorian literature, obviously. But I was enjoying this. It was so good, and I love these little stories. And if you like weird, some are sci-fi, some are just weird, and this is for you. I like The Twilight Zone. So if you like The Twilight Zone, you probably would enjoy this. Anyway, I had picked this up and I was reading it and I thought about another book that I wanted by Ray Bradbury. And so I went to my secondhand bookstore to look for it. Okay, I get in that store. Now, I said earlier the shiny object syndrome that I have, that everybody was reading a book I wanted to read, Lady Audley Secret. And so I started questioning, should I change something on my TBR and read that instead? So I thought, well, I'll be on the lookout for that, you know, when I go to the store. So anyway, I got to the secondhand bookstore, not even thinking about Lady Audley's Secret. And I was looking in the science fiction section. And I'm looking through the books uh, for Ray Bradbury. And all they have is like six of these and like Fahrenheit 451, which I've already read Fahrenheit 451. That was not what I was looking for. And I certainly wasn't looking for this. I look over and there on the shelf is Lady Holy Secret in the science fiction section. Obviously not in the right place. But I said, oh my goodness, there it is. So it was meant to be. So I am supposed to read this. 
<laughs> and even better, it has this little orange sticker on it for $1.50. <laughs> so I was like, okay, yes. Now I'm reading Lady Audley's Secret. So I did not find the book I was looking for, but maybe I did because I have seen this on everybody's TBR this year and I thought, oh, I need to read that one too. So here we go. I have made a little change in my Victober TBR and that is I'm going to read Lady Audley's Secret. But first I have to finish Ruth. Uh, I read some other things that are not Victober related, so I'll talk about those in another video. So, what are you reading? Let me know in the comments. Have you changed your mind about something for Victober like I did? Um, I'm doing well with my TBR. I've stuck to it mainly, but I did make that change. I think I'm going to dip into Lady Audley's Secret to see what I think after I finish Ruth. Have you read any of these? Let me know. Leave any comments about what you are reading or what I should be reading <laughs> because I may add it to my TBR. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.